Yeah, the geeks are here uh, dancing uh, Pee Wee Herman style now. You guys are all over the place this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaroo style. Yeah, okay, it's all there. Hey, uh, it's great to have you with us. And, and I guess the, the first topic is Ello, which yeah. I, I guess the marketing or the way they're branding themselves or somebody's branding them as the anti-Facebook. Right. Well, in the world of social networking, they say if you're not the customer, you're the product. Right. And so, like any good upstart, they have a manifesto and they're saying that we mm. are not going to sell ads, we're not going to sell you to advertisers, mm. we're here to serve users. So, so they're saying they're not, we're not going to be like Facebook. Right, exactly. Yeah, right. And in fact, usually yeah, when something, when Facebook does something to make people mad, everyone says they're going to leave and so they go somewhere. But just like saying you're going to leave the country when someone gets elected, no one right. actually leaves Facebook. Mm -hmm. But it was started by designers and such, so it has more of that feel it's kind of like tumblr mm -hmm. and to be to be sure there was a big flood of people looking for invites getting auctioned on ebay right. wanting to join the site so it's growing it, it seems to be well i think that like with anything that's shiny and new that's yeah. what uh, what will happen at first the question is is it sustainable yeah i guess you were talking about uh, the venture capitalists are in there so they're going to want some sort of return well they're going to want some right? sort of return they're going to want to make money so how they're going to make money we're not sure you know the thing is we wanted to cover this story because we wanted to do it before they went away. Ah. And you know, uh, okay. <laughs> so, right, okay. so the prediction is, you know, how long are they gonna last? Right. I actually posted, uh, you know, a request for people to comment on what they think of Ello, just so that we could come on a show and talk about right. it. And, you know, one, one of the things was, it took 10 hours before anybody to res anybody responded. responded. Uh, okay. And then, you know, like I, I've got like, you know, maybe 40 people that I, I, I friended. And of that, maybe, Half a dozen of them actually mm. are active on, you know, on the platform. So, you know, everybody's sort of on there and sort of claiming their name, mm. but there's no interaction that's mm. taking place. The other topic uh, we have on uh, the board today is Windows 10. We, we skipped nine, I guess, yes, right? Yes. yes, just went right. And a lot of people wish they would have skipped eight, I think. Right, and yeah. I think that that's kind of the issue. Now, yeah. this is the earliest that Microsoft has put out their next thing, you know, Ello mm -hmm. being the next thing. This is Microsoft's attempt at the next big thing. And many people do see it as an acknowledgement that as ambitious and as daring as Windows 8 was, mm -hmm. most people did not want to make that move to the tiled interface, to right. touch first. And I think that uh, the, the dad joke is that it's because Seven, eight, nine, but I think they yeah. <laughs> specifically wanted to say that I think this is going to be the last official version number for Windows. Um, even on the Mac side, it's really? been yeah. OS 10 for years and years and years, and right. they just have another name for it. Right. Now it's it went from cats to now places in California. So I think Windows 10 is pretty much it. They're saying this is our big play to get it all right. Do they go back to the start? program the well start you know so the thing? only place that I really encounter Windows is when I'm working at a job right. which you know long time ago I used to do that and <laughs> you know and, and they had they gave you a machine and the choice when it was booting up was do you want seven or do you want eight and I always chose seven because seven was more familiar it had a start button right. and mm -hmm. and then eight was very unfamiliar you had all the tiles and everything so when we decided that um, well, actually coming out and now looking at where, they go, where are they going with 10, they are looking at like almost like a 7.5. Mm. So it's kind of not eliminating the tile, but kind of doing something intermediary. In the middle or something. But there, yeah. you know, it is a new numbering system. One of the comparisons was that it's like uh, 7 was a, a, a Prius and now 10 is like a Tesla. Oh, but okay. really, it's more like a Corolla. <laughs> okay, all right. Hey, and uh, on the radio tonight, what are you talking about? Well, it's Pledge Drive, so okay. we're looking for oh. support for the station. Excellent. We are going to show uh, be playing a best of show. It's about the Mars uh, 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 habitat seas, on, the, yeah. on the Big Island, but really, if you want to, to find some value to the long statewide nightmare that has been our dancing, yes. you can probably make it worthwhile at 5 p.m. by calling in a pledge. All right, <laughs> 9.3 on the radio. Guys, great to have you with us.